first of all, I, I've said this so many times, uh, you know, those good pitchers, uh, you know, that first inning is uh, it's a critical inning. And uh, that's, you know, a lot of times that's when, uh, you know, they're trying to get settled in. And uh, he had a hard time, but uh, the stuff picked up the second inning, though. Yeah, you could see a, a, a remarkable difference in, uh, you know, his uh, fastball and, and his off-speed pitches. And, you know, he's trying to get settled in out there. And they, you know, they took advantage of, uh, you know, him not quite uh, being sharp in that inning. And as far as uh, in, in between innings, uh, now, I mean, we, we're checking on him. He took a pretty good spill there. And he felt it in the knee, his lower back. And, you know, for him, uh, to end up going seven innings uh, it says a couple of things. I mean, how tough he is, and uh, he, he's a pro. And uh, here he uh, hung in there, and he gets a win out of that. And uh, but you know, he was just a different pitcher after the first inning. Do you consider you batted uh, Quato in the fifth, and we're two on there. Was there debate at all about pitching for him then, or were well, we we had a guy ready, but with two outs, uh, you know, I, I didn't feel like. Uh, uh, making a change, a uh, couple things. Uh, I had some guys that needed a day off in the bullpen, and um, had Heston. He was fresh, uh, but I, I liked the way he was throwing the ball. Uh, he was really uh, locked in, hitting the spots, and uh, like I said, he's he's a different pitcher from that first inning. And he, even though he gave up five the first inning, he you know I think he, he only threw 24 pitches, and uh, from that point on, he had some. Uh, some nice uh, quick innings, and uh, so uh, fatigue wasn't an issue, and I uh, just wanted to stay with him. I felt like we could get him a win, which we did. Given everything that happened there in the first inning, what, what did you think of some of the, the mental things that happened, some of the, the lapses, and, and also did you feel lucky to be down by three after, after you guys had hit? Uh, well, I thought it was important that we answered back. And uh, they kind of got back in the game. The long ball got us in the game. And, uh, you know, this offense has picked us up uh, all series. I think every team that had a lead uh, ended up losing the game in this series. That's a little different. But, uh, you know, it's a great message for these pitchers, man. Just keep going, keep grinding, and, and, give, and just give this club a chance to come back. And, uh, um, I mean, a couple of mistakes. But, uh, you know, we, we overcame them uh, with the offense. And, uh Really played a pretty, uh, really good ball game after the first inning. Um, you guys obviously can win games in a variety of ways, but this first week you've hit so many home runs, one at least in every game, multiples in several games like today. Do you s foresee this team being a big power hitting team? Well, I said this earlier too. Uh, it's, it's a team that's going to hit for more power, I believe. Uh, and it doesn't always mean home runs, but I, th I think if you look at the – the doubles, uh, I think that's going to pick up with this club. Uh, throughout the lineup, we have guys who uh, who can drive the ball. I mean, uh, and Pagan ends up hitting a home run. And, uh, but it's uh, it's a club that's not – I mean, we're not going to rely on the long ball, but uh, it certainly helps, particularly when, when you're down five runs. That usually is something that you need, somebody to pop one and get you back in the game. And, you know, with uh, Buster and, of course, Belt's home run now, it's a ball game, and uh, it, g it just gives uh, the club hope, and uh, things picked up ap after that. Coach, right here, up here. Um, can you assess your team's uh, first week, what you liked and what you saw? Well, it's been a, a really, uh, I think, a nice week. Uh, you know, you take two series, uh, one on the road and uh, against a good club like this, and came in very hot, and they were pitching so well. and But it really – if I look at some of these games and the comebacks that, that we have, uh, you know, that's that's what you like. And this is something that uh, is, I, I, I believe, is a strong message uh, that is going to help this club uh, down the road and, and is something we'll build on, knowing, hey, we're not out of any game. Five runs, and, you know, that's, hey, we have a lot of game left. We can come back. We just keep pushing and play hard for nine innings. We'll see what happens. And, and uh, the guys did it. I mean, we had some huge hits today. Of course, Panic, you know, his hit off a left-hander. But, you know, uh, really, I thought before that, Spans at bat was huge. Uh, you know, I decided not to bunt. And, uh, you know, he found a way to get the job done and not just get it done, but he gets a base hit out of it. And that opened up a crooked number for us. And 
that inning. Is there any concern about Johnny's knee or his back going forward? Is is he going to be checked out? No, he's fine. He he said he he said he was fine. Uh, you know, uh, when I went out there uh, to check on him, he says, I, you know, after he threw a couple pitches, he, you know, and he's honest. You know, he'll tell you. But uh, you know, uh, tomorrow we'll have to check on him, see you know if there's any kind of residual. But uh, I, my guess is he he's good to go.